Hello, this is Oraka PDX channel. You have Tony behind the controls and Daniel here with me commenting on Elden Ring playthrough. Apologies, failed to record the audio again for episode seven. We are now on episode eight. Hopefully you're hearing me now. Let's begin. Punches with those. Is this OST? Yeah, a little soundtrack, something. Yeah. A little soundtrack, yeah. Alright, yeah, I got my new weapon. Yeah, I can maybe get kind of comfortable and take out some of those foot soldiers too and just kind of get used to general combat. I did. I did. You changed slightly, you got some of your heavier gloves on and stuff and helmet, so you got a little bit more physical defense. But you're still in that medium weight range, you're not that well in the medium weight range. Wait a minute, I'm going to be trying to take on, uh... Oh, get your gun, so we'll do it. You want to take on Margit? Yeah. Yeah. I think we'd be worthy. Yeah. be interesting. The horse combat was not impressing me damage-wise, but... Well, you know, you also haven't upgraded that weapon at all, either. That is just the basic base of what Okay, well, so maybe, I haven't picked maybe, up a bunch of stones, yeah, so... Yeah, maybe farm some souls and then go upgrade the weapons. You're going to need some runes to okay. upgrade Let's, it. We'll clear these yeah. stupid get, fuckers out. Yeah, get, get up some souls, recover your weapons, and uh, go upgrade the weapon with at least a few levels. Yeah, get it up to like plus three, plus four, something like that, and then give it a shot. The running charge attacks with it are some of my favorite tools. I've the glass and the charge it. Those are devastating. It works really good against PvP. When you're charging your opponent, they are not used to people being so offensive. These people being more defensive, so when you're charging them, unless you get that one guy that's really good at parries, which is not very often in this game, the charging attack. Dungeon, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't think you're gonna die nothing yet. Probably a dungeon, but okay. Yeah. Is that a hack That'd uh, help you upgrade items to the box, right? Yeah. That's all. If you catch him enough, uh, you can get his power. Oh, okay, but kind of a way to go it. The horn guy is kind of weird as well. I don't know if I'm going to be the really weird. I don't know if I'm going to be the weird. I don't know if I'm going to be the weird. I don't know if I'm going to be the weird. I 
one. That's my favorite attack. So you get all those little attacks in there. It's similar to the L2 attack on the horseback. You get those little attacks. You got them right with you. Mm -hmm. so, you just the tiniest sound comes out of it, everybody comes at once. R1 to so get, you know, two-handing that one weapon. You do a little bit more damage and slightly changes the move set. And a little more into it. Especially if you're not blocking damage. Alright, what are we doing then? Well, you probably want to upgrade it. Right. Yeah, yeah, we're just gaining some wins. Which little axe mouth? I don't well, remember. Uh, you need to go back to the, the round table hold. So, I press triangle. And then press L1 to get to the left. And off the there we go. This items purchased from the Twin Maven Plus. So, yeah, okay, let's go like there first. DLC uh, the left. accommodations. Why go? Offering bell bearings, you'll find them at the well, either locationally or if you say like kill patches. He is a merchant, technically. He'll drop a ball bearing and then you can take his bell ball bearing to them and then have access to the items that he would sell. So that we can add some of the spam to the twin maybe. So, what am I doing here? Well, you just, I don't know, I said there's a new line, so it doesn't really look like there's any kind of note. So I'd go back, go to offer ball bearing. Uh, uh, so it has one. Oh, okay. I, don't, I don't know what to do, so I'd get this new excited. So I guess I'd just go to the last one. The door to your right, uh, right here, is about to be That was a good one. He was what out do by you need? Before, I have little time to spare. Oh, are you aggrieved at the notion you were but a visitant here? Then you would do well to remember the first words of grace given to you. Stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. If those words held any meaning to you, follow the guidance of grace. Lay low the shard bearers and claim for yourself a great rune. Do so, and the doors to the round table's inner chamber will open, and you will receive the wisdom of the two fingers. So, basically, what he means is you need to defeat one of the great bosses, and then you'll be able to unlock power of one of the great ruins because the bosses are connected to the great ruins. And then the one of the doors here is in the, the main round table will open up and you can witness and you have a witness to the two fingers. So like I'd go back to the round table. So you're just a giant walking skeleton. Yeah. And he doesn't talk to you. But you do have his pose after you witness them the first time. The to your right slightly, those doors. Those would be the doors that will unlock and keep the key and the bosses at the great room and free the your keys and barrel with him. That's the girl that gave you the jellyfish and got 
uh, before you went to go fight you know, with Margaret. Mm -hmm. you talk to her. Greetings. Nice to see you again. My name is Roderica. I should have told you sooner. Isn't this place impressive though? The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers. And gathering place of champions who vie to become Elden Lord. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished had such fantastic roots. Although, it's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. Hey. It's all the same. Lay out your arms then. I'm kind of curious what after the voice you have left in that voice in that guy's voice. Kind of triggered in that front here. We got War Stomp and Determinant. Meh. You know, and you can add a buff and you can put it to see how your strength, your scaling is in C is average. That's okay. When your strength gets really high, you could make it a strength specific weapon and bump that up to the all, e or an a. all I see is determination brings the FP cost up a bunch and nothing else changes. Well, that's because once you pick it, so pick it, pick it, pick one. Now you can pick whether it's standard or quality, go up or down. It's changing the stack quality, and as you get more, you will be able to change it to be a strength. Specific one, depth specific one, arcane specific one, or an element specific one. So it's just kind of early. You don't have a lot of after the war yet. So and you're probably just fine ignoring it for a little while and then come back. So I wouldn't do this, but you can upgrade the weapon independently. The after the war and your weapon upgrade don't affect each other, and they don't erase each other. So you can kind of change your after the war willy nilly and have a fully upgraded play. Alright. That's when we're fixing the uh, the lamp. I, I would go for it. I I love the lamp. And I probably on my own on this, I don't think a lot of people love this weapon, but it's a personal favorite. But improve the shoulder of weight. I wouldn't because it really just benefits the damage output that it does, and you're not even using your shield for damage output, so it, it will get slight right. gains, but it's not really I was able to afford a plus two. Okay. So, all right. So I would you... go. Oh, did you talk to him about the girl? It was an option to talk to him about the girl. Already. No matter. The Lay out your arms. The girl you bore here, she's crestfallen and can scarcely swing a blade. But she has a gift for spirit tuning. I saw another one like her long ago. Their eyes share the same hue. I'll go back and talk to the girl. Not that good. I don't know what to do. Love that way. It's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. Mm, $10. Oh. Uh. You're telling me I possess some kind of gift? I don't believe you. But if I do have this talent, and goodness knows it would be my first, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Certainly, he does appear intimidating and holds no love for us tarnished. But I know he's trapped here at the round table hold. So, I can tell. He's a gentle soul underneath it all. I think he might have to leave I don't remember. He might. Might as well have 
Surprise. Back already. No matter. Lay out your arms. Mm. The girl. What about her? Play you out of your mind. Who'd stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith? Absurd. Besides, she'd never agree to it. I refuse to believe it. I don't doubt you, but I know when something's too good to be true. If I do have a talent for spirit tuning, and goodness knows that would be a surprise. I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. I go up the middle and it's too cool like that. Right here would be to your right. I don't know if there's any new guys now. Oh, you need to get these markers. I think you should, uh, that ledge right there. Yeah, okay. You should, you should, you should stop that. You should do something. A lot of blood. What's up? I had to do that door. That door. That's a balls. Stay on the offensive. Push, push. Maybe. with the frost. That's like the double whammy. I don't know if I've seen anybody actually use that too, like in PvP. They're weird, because I've heard that it's like, it's OP as fuck. Yeah, good question. Like, 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 people do. like frost and, and bleed, like literally both of them are like, there's, 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 one, there's the, the Scarlet Rot, which is another kind of build-up mm. thing in this game that's huge. They do have poison build-ups in this, which is huge. You can mix them up a bunch of things. I don't know if seen that. People don't really mess with that. You know? Everybody, everybody does bleed build. Bleed is like the biggest thing. People always love to bleed. You know? There'll be some star of rock, because that's pretty common. And then there's a few madness builds. And that's pretty cool. I mean, the game really is very close to that next door. What do you do? I'm going to destroy this guy. He's <laughs> not that bad. He's just this. No. 
no if, ends, or buts about it. Yeah, him. he's not that bad. He is annoying, but he's not that bad. The, I can't use the weapon properly without... Oh, you motherfucker. He locked that? No, no, I'm just saying with the shield out. Like, I can't um, seem to use the weapon. It's pretty good. Pretty devastating. No, it's fucking amazing. But... I love it. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you. You're bullshit. Damn. Frostbite. What the <laughs> fuck? You might have to switch and shield and poke kind of tactic and you know. I just, need to, I, just, I just need to be up on his shenanigan. Mm -hmm. What I need. It's a fucking shenanigan up this double fucking garbage. I feel like I'm the only one. I, I don't the, want to do a lot of people. One of the key things is I forgot to lock on. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's not bad against bosses either. It's got reach. It's, it covers ground. It does a lot of things that a lot of us don't do. Covering ground and having reach is have to fight big enemies or small enemies. It's rocking. Bad tongue all bread. Dude, crushed him. <laughs> oh, the taunter's tongue. So that's a PvP kind of item. It allows you to encourage more invaders. That's really the main thing of that, that item. I couldn't remember what the, that was. Um, none of these doors open, but turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right. Turn right. That a bay on the right there is open, and there is an item somewhere in the loop that they would go to the next so that's the way to the Instant death! Yeah. <laughs> Is this, like, is this like a reference to the Cinder in Dark Souls 2? Maybe, Maybe I'll just read. That's a, a, a faith weapon that you get for coverage. So if you do if you, if you were doing a faith build, that would be massive, but not really important to the You go to where you kill the guy with the thing that's part of the table. And there, I think you're pretty ready to go, and I, I would go fuck up Mongo. Alright. I think you're ready, but you got a lot going on. Things are different. You get Sorcerer Roger to assist you, and go fuck the crap out of Triangle. Yeah, there you go. No, there you go. Close. There you go. Shit, Because you can still circumnavigate him and then continue throughout the places above him, but story wise, you really can't progress through the story without him. The boss, but uh, if you're doing like a speed run and you're trying to get certain items, you can totally certain items. Go get specific items. Okay. You can still block with your lamp the way you're moving it, but obviously it's like. Hey! <laughs> So you may or may not have to put it in the game. So it's more damage is not going to help you. Because right now you're set up for the food. So you're not going to have to put it in the game. So you're not going to have to put it in the game. So you're not going to have to put it in the game. So you're not going to have to put it in the game. So you're not going to have to put it in the game. So you're not going to have to put it in the game. So you're not
so you can dodge. Dodging is. It's like my, I've got him down to ten percent with basic base garbage. Yeah, but yeah. Of course, I was like hyper focused on timing. Yeah. Oops, don't fuck off with that. Your first time back, maybe a couple episodes. <laughs> there's, no yeah, well, well, there's a there's a completely unseen episode. Of me spending an hour failing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I was like, nah. I'll just delete that one. Oh, you stupid bastard. I don't really do, except when I'm trying to get my... The really big boxer is the jump Oh my god, the big guy. That is something... But you can't have it.
So Rosano's.
Damn, dude. paper in front of me. Yeah. And you'll get a really good power kill shortly after you. And you could go out of the way for him, but you mostly have to kill that big height at that camp over and over and over again until he just he drops his kill. And I don't know. This guy's pretty better on this Oh my god, fuck you. Hold the wow. Wow! Wow! Alright, fuck, fuck, fine. Alright. I just fucking failing. Oh, I hate your attack so much. Oh, and the, and the, and the perfect follow up. Watch me. I swear to God. I, it's like I learned nothing. Butter. Do your fucking thing, Roger. Doing better with a toothpick. I mean, you know, you've leveled some things up. You still have your great swords, but you're not liking the moment. No, that's. I don't know. I like it. It's just. I mean, it took punishing amounts of death to even get close to the timing to make the toothpick do anything. Fuck you, that trash. It does become more close. This is just part of the early part of the story. Hard to relax. 
still 100% physical pain. Still 5% physical pain. And this giant. I think caught the way go. You're good at the block or uh, the dodging. The between dodging and poking hard. Yeah, I understand my friends. Yeah. Barely. He <laughs> did. <laughs> kind of did. Well, I mean, it's like so, okay, you, you okay, can only stop perfectly you, dodge so many before times. Before you go in there, go ahead and summon Roger. But before you go in there, maybe if you're not going to use a shield, disequip the shield and maybe put stronger chest on. Maybe you can do that without uh, being heavy. Go to the bottom. Yeah, you can put that on. So his regular hits will do slightly less damage to you, but you can two-hand your opponents. And, uh, could you press a triangle on the card? Yeah. So, so use that to your advantage. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 That seems to be a little bit more. Later on, you know, you might find yourself a shield again for range. So, maybe, maybe this is maybe it's gonna work for you. It was just so nice, sad that like the shield shit's is not gonna work right now. Well, maybe that's it's not enough shield for you. Maybe you need a power shield. Because that's what I primarily do with the, the setup of the power shield. That I'd add to that shield. God, what a kid. Warrior blood must 
Might as well have, might as well have, like detonated a nuke. The fucking radius of his attacks are. That was pretty solid. Like, I don't think that was more progressive than some of the. Yeah, yeah. If I repeat all that perfectly and then do even better, <laughs> then it's all good. Solid, good. It's it's just a math formula that requires you to not be ever fucking stupid. Yeah, suck less. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I understand. You're captain sometimes. I remember you yelling that a long time ago. Like the first soft game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no pity. Me being mad and you saying suck less. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm coming full circle. <laughs> oh, you piece of motherfucker. He didn't even make contact. I don't, I don't like it though. No stamina against no doing nothing. Uh, Roger, you need to fucking yeah, pick it up. Roger, yeah, get in there. Get in there. Yeah. He's like, I do magic, motherfucker. And I don't Oh, you dirty whore mouth. Dirty whore. I hate you. Up there, eighty-five percent. All right. You're right there. So pretty important. How much is that? Oh, you got it. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, I thought he would be on Roger, but you know, whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Girl, you piece of shit. Jesus. No. Ah! No. Shit, because I fell off that edge. Uh, this dirt bag. The dirty. But chill. I usually chill right there by the gate. Let Roger get in. Hang tight there. Let Roger get in. Now, you a little bit Yeah, there you go. Oh, garbage. You think less damage I think it's put on the other Whatever. I mean, like... <sighs> You're gonna get him, dude. So many episodes of fighting Margaret. I can't imagine actually sharing my combat with Margaret. It would have been... It would have been brutal. I, I died many a time thinking that I could do it. Like, take him down with some really basic thing. Well, I mean... The sad thing is, is he, like, he's probably one of the more predictable moves that do. God, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck. Fuck all of this. Ah, don't like it. It still fuck got me with it. It's such crap. Oh, he telegraphed it forever. You need to you need to stop with all of it. Oh my god, this is so bad. So bad. I feel like I have to pee as much when I don't watch, like, record. <laughs> it's just, like, constant. Okay. You just, you can't. It just ramps up the pressure, like, five billion times. Like, I, I got a pee, bro. I told us I got really mad at the other day. We found a dirt camp that we were chasing. I was like, I don't know what this is. And I was like, well, is it number one or number two? And he came to my angry. <laughs> He did not like that. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. I get it. Who, who are you mad at? Who, who? Thank you.
be like more dead than that. I would much prefer you being way more dead. So you do have this, so, uh, okay. what, what is that? Restores half your HP in a hunter. So, uh, that's not very helpful. So, mid-battle, if you're out of potions, you can use that and restore half your health. Dope. You'll get, you'll get better. There's, there's something there. Really? 